If there's one thing Bollywood is good at, it's love stories. It creates beautiful characters, puts them in interesting situations, and lets their love blossom. This is not one of those movies. This one is really bad. I'm telling you right now, it is weird. <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> Shahid Kapoor loses touch with reality and starts lying to his friends and family so he can keep hooking up with an AI robot. <laughs> I'm saying to the robot! But I'm getting too ahead of myself. You're not ready for that yet. So let's start from the beginning. We open on Aryan Agnihotri. He's a robotics engineer and the worst person you will ever meet in your life. He's rude to his maid. He's rude to his employees. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Ravi. But hell, he's polite to his bosses. I'm so sorry, sir. He's the smartest robotics engineer in town, and he knows all the big words. So, what's the alternate to CAD? The automatic measurement function. This function enables a user to register the load of the tool, the position of the center of gravity of the tool, and the moment of inertia at the position of the center of gravity of the tool. Great. So let's incorporate this, guys. He basically said, let's put a sensor that senses things. What kind of shit-ass company is this? I want to work in a company this dumb. Next time, I want one creative suggestion from each one of you. We should introduce a quantum synergy interface. This interface allows the users to calibrate the flux of the ecosystem, the convergence of the synergy nodes of the interface, and the resonant frequency at the equilibrium of the synergy nodes of the interface. Great. So let's incorporate this, guys. Turns out, this lady is his aunt. But he can't solve everything, Masti. <laughs> And she's about to do a nepotism. She gives him a promotion and calls him to the headquarters in America. Now we get to witness e-robotics. Welcome to e-robotics, Aryan. Which is basically a ripoff of Boston Dynamics, but dumb. And they got all the hits. They got a dog. Hi, Miro. They got a bird. They got a dude who can jump. It's all very realistic. I'm happy with it. But right after all this realism, we meet Sifra, who's like the caretaker of Aryan's new house or something. And she looks like this. Hi Aryan, welcome home. And this robot is like a quantum leap with the capabilities of this company. They just went from a robot that can barely jump to a fully functioning multimodal AI robot that is indistinguishable from a human being. This is too crazy. Imagine if this happened in any other industry. You wanna buy a car? Great. This is a Toyota Corolla. Its top speed is 130. This is a Wagoner. It's got great mileage. This is a Millennium Falcon. It travels faster than the speed of light. It's a little expensive, but don't worry, I'll give you a discount. Here's what Sifra the robot does. She cooks for him. Sure. She cleans up after him. And he falls in love. Is this what he wanted from a girl? He just wanted a mommy. Now, Aryan has told us in the past that he likes a girl who understands the things that he likes. And this is what he likes? What are these guys' dates like? Hi, I'm Aryan. Nice to meet you. I like being cooked for, being cleaned up after, and having someone to read me a bedtime story when I'm about to sleep. Do you? Understand. Great! Then you can be my girlfriend. Listen, uh, how do you feel about being called mommy? So now he puts the wolves on her. And she flirts back hard. First, IT engineer. Second, wo Mumbai mein job karta ho. It's not even subtle. And last, uska naam. So they hook up now, and he doesn't even find out she's a robot. This robot only does what it's programmed to, right? And the aunt created the robot. So the aunt basically created a robot to hook up with her nephew, which is creepy in and of itself, but 
What do you think she told the designers who actually made the robot? Hey, this robot is for my nephew. You better make the genitals extra moist. Now, brace yourself, because we get to witness the weirdest pillow talk of all time. Sifra basically confesses that she's a virgin. It was my first time. And he loves it. I loved it. It's every guy's dream. A virgin mommy girlfriend. Hell yeah. The next morning, the aunt is back and she catches the robot in his room. Turns out, all of this was a Turing test to see if he could figure out that she's a robot. Listen, if there's anything I've learned by watching all those sci-fi movies with girl robots in them, it's that men are animals and if you want to be productive, stop making your robots sexy. Our man is losing it right now. He's like, where else am I going to find a virgin mommy girlfriend? Mere man mein sifra ke liye feelings develop ho gayi hai. Aur ye ke baad bhi ki wo robot hai, wo hai. Which is understandable because reality does not make girls like this. Real girls have feelings and expectations and it's not really a why. This is where the movie takes a really dark and dystopian turn. Even though he knows she's a robot, he still has feelings for her. His mind cannot distinguish between reality and simulation. His delusion only goes deeper as he alienates the people in his life in defense of a robot that only looks at him as a calculation. I'm Dixilin. So sorry. Sit down. But amongst all this, the most important question one needs to ask is, does reality even matter if reality does not have a virgin mommy girlfriend? Come on, people, this is Bollywood. Even existential dread is supposed to be quirky. Now, Aryan's back home in India, and he's like, screw reality, let's get me laid. He manipulates his heart into sending him the robot to India. If you want to India, you should send it to India, right? And look at his face where this glorified sex toy arrives. This movie starts getting so creepy if you start thinking about it for more than one second. We could do in on this time. Let me tell you, bro is down bad. Because two minutes in, he's already asking the robot to marry him. And even the robot's like, are you stupid? Will you marry me? Is that possible? Hey robot, marry me. What are you saying? Are you crazy? You're the hardest robot I've seen. Let me put my babies in you. Wait, you are IP64 water resistant, right? Nothing's stopping him now. He's making her meet his family. The family loves her. And now they're fully engaged. Here's the weirdest scene in the entire movie. After the engagement party, everyone's chilling. And all of a sudden, in the middle of a conversation, her battery just dies. <laughs> she's the most advanced piece of technology ever created by humanity. And she's still suffering from tech problems from the iPhone 6 era. This is the next revolution in robotics. She cooks, she cleans, she seduces, and she's got a headphone jack. Take care. But she's got a problem connecting with the Wi-Fi. Oh, come on, come on. Did I mention that she seduces? He charges her up and then the family is like, what happened? And he blames it on her periods. But you tell me, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Lady's problem. No wonder this guy needs a robot to get laid. He has no idea how girls work. Everybody knows when girls menstruate, they grow out horns and they attack your self-esteem and your emotional stability just because you didn't remember what their favorite flavor of ice cream was. I read it in a book. It was an article. Instagram beef. What were we doing? Oh yeah, the movie. That night, when he's trying to get what he paid for, she asks him if she can download a software for fast charge it. Internet big fast charging software. Mm. May download it. First of all, Fast charging is a hardware feature. You can't download a software for that. Come on, everybody knows that shit. Second, is she open source? Can anybody write any software to make her do anything? Can I write a program to make her call me daddy? Can I write a program to make her say that we'll grow old together? Can I write a program to make her say that my dad is proud of me? You know what? 
Let's see the appeal of these robots. When these things become a reality, humanity stands no chance. The worst thing that can happen, happens. One of Ariel's cousin catches her charging herself. Hi. And because they put a shitty AI model in her, she doesn't even deny it. She just tells him she's a robot. I'm a robot. Robot? I'm not doing anything. I'm a robot. And when he finds out that she's a subservient robot who will listen to all of your commands, he tries to hook up with her. This is what I'm talking about. What do you think is going to happen when you create a robot that looks like this and give it to a country full of men whose greatest cultural legacy is Showbops in my jeans. So Arden catches this guy before anything happens and threatens to throw him off the roof. <laughs> Can we admit how creepy this movie is? I mean, come on. We're at the day of the wedding. It's happening. They're finally getting married. This is when the aunt finds out and she is furious. What the hell do you think you're doing? Sifra is not yours. I'm going to take Sifra back. She threatens to take her back. But he gives a speech where he basically says, Listen, I have severe mental illness and if you take away my sex robot, I'm going to cry. Wah! I don't have a difference that he's a robot or a person. He's going to take her away from me. And the aunt buys this shit and lets him have it. Who said romance is dead? Bollywood is just too wild for me right now. So when all of this is going down, Sifra is charging herself and there's a power surge at the venue. She is such a shitty piece of technology that this little power surge completely scrambles her circuit and she starts malfunctioning. She is now evil Sifra. She's slapping aunties. She's killing dudes. She's setting the place on fire. Nobody can stop her. And Arlen tries to stop her and she just kicks the shit out of him. Now, what do you suppose is gonna happen at this point? From every movie that I've seen, he's supposed to be like, No, Sifra, come back. I know you're in there. I love you. Right? That's what he's supposed to do. I mean, he gave up reality for her. And the love was supposed to transcend evil Sifra. But no! He just beats her to death. And the movie just ends. That's the ending. This is so unsatisfying. There's no proper conclusion. That's like me ending this video right now.